All right, what's going on, you guys? It's uh, Kevin the Full Metal Ginger. Uh, finally, going to do our question answering video. Uh, I'm a little bit run down, man. It's like 11 o'clock Friday night. Um, yeah, I've been up since 5:30 this morning. So, end of the day, uh, I probably should have got this done a lot sooner. But you know, we're finally going to knock it out today. So I'm sorry for the wait. I've had a lot of people ask me when I was going to get it done, and I'm sorry. It's just it's taking me a minute. I'm you know, I've had so many other things coming in for once that I've been really wanting to work in and at least, you know, get prepared to do those videos, so that's kind of why I got it got pushed back a little bit, so a month later we're finally knocking this out, but yeah, I uh, really appreciate everyone who commented and asked questions and all that kind of thing, um, it's just really cool to see that, I love, I love seeing uh, feedback and stuff like that, but anyway, I want to quit rambling because this video is going to take all fucking day, so we, I guess we better jump right into it. Uh, I got the laptop set up. Um, I'm just going to uh, go from the top and work our way down. I don't know who commented first or you know whatever. I guess you know uh, we'll just work our way down and just see how it goes. Uh, first, we have uh, Ambient Sound, uh, great fucking dude. Uh, go subscribe to him if you haven't already. It says uh, first of all, Inquisition with Valon and Wada was fucking tight as hell. Yes, it was. And uh, hopefully next time a show blows through South Carolina, we can hang out and drink some beer and listen to some fucking hateful shit. Amen, brother. We'll fucking do that for sure. Uh, it says, here are my questions. Number one, is it me or is the constant hate towards uh, NS fucking childish horse shit? Uh, I'm sick of it, and I'd like to know your opinion on the matter. I'm sick of it, too. I could really give a rat's fucking ass. Uh, I don't care. Um, people are pissed off about it and just get the fuck over it, or better yet, just don't even listen to the music. It's really that simple. If you don't like something, don't, you know, don't listen to it, don't watch it, don't participate in it. It's not that hard. I don't know why people have such a difficult time with that, but whatever. Uh, I forgot to mention, by the way, before we go on, listen to Nunslaughter, Devil's Conjuries, Congeries, whatever. Uh, volume 1. Volume 2 is out on Hell's Headbangers. I still need to go pick that up. You do, too, if you haven't got it already. Uh, sorry. Uh, number 2. Uh, in terms of extremely raw territory black metal, uh, what are your favorites? Fuck. This is the kind of question I was dreading just because I get put on the spot and I just cannot think of anything. Um... And that's the thing too, man. Uh, the lines are really blurred to me when it comes to what is raw, because um, there are things more raw than others. But what is the dividing line between raw and not raw? So, uh, first one that comes to my mind, I'll just say Black Salise, just because that's the first thing that popped in my head. I just, I really didn't prepare for this like I probably should have. But sorry about that. Uh, it's just the first thing that popped in my head. Um, will you ever get any plugs other than those green ones and what size are you at? Um, I actually had to get new ones just because I lost the green ones. The uh, Mighty Sea took them. Uh, I was in the ocean when we were on vacation uh, this summer and a wave came by and knocked them both out. They were both gone. I actually knocked one of them out. So that, that pissed me off and I went and got in the pool after that and then lost it in the pool, which sucked. So, yeah, they're gone, man. Never see those again. Uh, I'm at a half inch, I think. I don't think I'm going to go any higher just because uh, one of them I'm running out of skin. It's this one. You can see, well, you can't see here, but how much thinner one side is than the other. So I'm probably not going to go up any higher. Uh, number four, what's your favorite uh, Satanic Warmaster album or anything? Um, fuck. Probably Strength and Honor, but I really like Black Metal Commando, that EP compilation whatever it is uh either one uh fuck i like everything they do uh werewolf's a fucking genius as far as i'm concerned so uh are you a fan of clandestine blaze yes i am but the only one i have is new golgotha rising uh i need to get more from them for sure uh number six thoughts on Pesta noir's uh later stuff after folk fuck to be honest man i haven't really listened to Pesta noir all that much um it's just one of those bands that i've just not particularly paid attention to like i should have uh, there's no real reason for it. It's just, you know, it's on my periphery and I just haven't really got around to it yet. Uh, I've listened to the self-titled album once or twice, but that's really as far as I've gotten, so I just really can't answer that one. Uh, number seven, top five favorite movies. Jesus Christ. Um, put me on the spot, I can't do it. Uh, right now, I mean, it, it just, it changes all the time. I, I could give you one or two, but, um... I'll just say that one because I think someone else asked a similar question. So I'll just hold off on that. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, hobbies outside of collecting and YouTube. <sighs> Watching football, I guess. Football and hockey. Uh, 
I like going in the woods. I like hiking. Not necessarily the hiking part. I like. I'm more of a forest wanderer. If that makes any sense at all. Um, so yeah, that's. I mean, fuck. I don't really do anything else besides that, um, which is lame. I work, I play with my daughter, and hang out with the family, and then listen to music. I mean, that's really about it. I'm, I'm a boring motherfucker. Uh, and then he says he ran out of questions. So thanks, dude. Uh, go check out Ambient Sound if you haven't already. Uh, next up, we have Axe from the Abyss, my good buddy Tyler. Uh, let's see what he has to say. Uh, he says he have a, has a plethora of questions, which is awesome. Uh, coolest band member you've ever met? Um, Diego Sanchez, hands down, from Discord. And now Cephalotripsy, which is really cool. Uh, he's the only one who was really super nice and actually seemed excited to talk to me. That was just really fucking cool. Uh, prize possession, there's too many. I'm assuming you're talking about albums, but uh, man, there's, there's just so many in there, man. I couldn't pick just one. Um, bands you can't stand to, or bands you can't stand or listen to. Again, there's so many, and um, I mean, it's all the most generic things. It's really just, I don't like generic radio rock because it's awful. But I mean, if it's not a band I'm going to listen to, I just don't care in the first place. So I don't have, I don't have no reason to remember who they are. So fuck them. Uh, number four, bands you draw a lot of inspiration from but don't quite listen to. That one I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, really, if I'm drawing inspiration from a band, it's you know a band I really do listen to quite often. So um, I don't really know what to say about that one, to be honest with you. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> top item on your want list currently. I really should have prepared for this fucking video. Um, we're already seven minutes in. Jesus. Um, fuck. Well, there's one specifically that I'm really wanting right now. I've been wanting it for about a year and I haven't got around to it yet. But I'm actually probably going to get that, order that tonight. Uh, so I will hold off and then you can see it later on. How about that? There'll be another video for it. Uh, fuck. Uh, what's the weirdest thing you dream about? Every one of my dreams are just weird. I couldn't really explain it. Um, where I grew up, there's this... Uh, like a picnic area okay down the hill and across the creek and it's all tucked back in the woods and i've had so many dreams about that place like it being like some big you know like well manicured not really like a garden but it's more like an arboretum type thing with all these really nice trails cutting through it it's just you know i don't know why i dream about that all the time that's I'm rambling i'm sorry all my dreams are weird can you sing opera absolutely not um i don't even want to try uh, if we had a weekend on the beach with Rose, I guess he meant roses, how many babies would we have? Um, probably none considering we're both dudes, but you never know. Uh, number nine, non-metal things you listen to. Oh, uh, uh, fuck, I listen to all kinds of stuff. Um, I love 70s hard rock, uh, you know, like Kansas Blue Oyster Cult, um, I like Foreigner, um, if it's 70s hard rock, it's... Yeah, 70s hard rock I love. Uh, I love Johnny Cash. I'm not really big in, into country at all, but I do like Johnny Cash and a few others, but mainly just Johnny Cash when it comes to that genre. Uh, occasionally I'll listen to a lot of uh, 90s alternative rock. Uh, not like... Uh, not so much on grunge, but like, I mean, I really listen, I like listening to uh, Wallflowers every now and then. Um... Gin Blossoms I really like, but I think mostly that is from uh, Nostalgic, you know, just because I grew up then and just remember hearing all those songs. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll listen to pretty much anything to a degree. I mean, if it's, well, I, never mind, just take that back. I don't listen to anything, um, but there are a lot of things I'm really interested in checking out, and I'm not just a fan of metal. I'm rambling. i got to move on. Uh, Axe from the Abyss, go check him out, too. He's on here. Uh, great dude. Hey, good buddy of mine. Go check out Goat Whisperer as well. Uh, Life Eternal. What's up, dude? Check him out, too. Uh, what's your favorite kind of smokeless tobacco? That would be Grizzly Wintergreen Long Cut. And uh, I only do it occasionally, so... There's probably other things out there, but whatever. Uh, thanks, bud. And I think he's going to show up again here soon. Anyway. Uh, Death Metal Fan. What's up, Luke? Uh, great dude. You need to start doing videos again, my friend. Lazy bastard. 
fucking British people, you know. Uh, it says, okay, here's a few questions for you. Number one, what's your favorite film? Uh, like I said, that was going to come up again. I'm just going to say Apollo 13, uh, the Tom Hanks movie. Um, I'm a huge fan of Tom Hanks. Anything he's done, well, probably 90% of everything he's done I really enjoyed. Uh, and that movie just really got me interested in the whole uh, 60s space race. I don't, I don't know why. I'm not really a mathy, uh, sciencey guy. I mean, I enjoy science, but it's not like something I'm really interested in studying. But there's something all about space and the whole space race. Just, I don't know. I was just really into it, and I love that movie. I love the story behind it and everything that comes with it. So. Uh, that's all time favorite. Uh, it says number two, what has been your favorite release of the year so far? I cannot remember for the life of me or, or probably couldn't even pronounce, uh, the name of it. And I believe I played it on here for our soundtrack. One of those, one, one video. It was, uh, Heavy Kurnu, however the fuck you pronounce it. It's Finnish black metal band. Um, their release from this year, I cannot for the life of me remember or pronounce it, but it's right now probably my favorite one. Uh, it's just really atmospheric and really, really shit I enjoyed. So that's just as of right now. So it might, it might change. Uh, number three, what's your favorite sh uh, subgenre of metal? Fuck, I don't know. Uh, black and anything black and black thrash, black death. Uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. That's that's the number one. But I mean. You know, any given day, that could be something different. So today, that's what it is. Uh, number four, when can we expect some music from your damn, or some damn music from your projects? Uh, never. Fuck, I don't know when I'll ever get around to it. Um, between work and family and doing YouTube, I just cannot find the time to even sit down and write. Uh, and again, it, it is be, me being lazy, so it's just whatever. Uh, they're more like ideas right now than projects, so, uh, when I get them, I get them, man. Uh, somebody's gonna have to kick me in the ass to get it for me to get to it, I suppose. Uh, thanks, Luke. Uh, next, Snaggletooth Bastard. He has three questions. Says, what's the most overrated and underrated uh, New Wave of British heavy metal band? Overrated? Uh, fuck. I don't really want to say Iron Maiden. I mean, they're awesome, but I mean, they are a bit they're a bit out there to the point where it's like, okay, I mean, and this is just my personal opinion, um, because, I mean, uh, VH1 Classic, we used to have all their, uh, play their concerts on all the time, and it was just like, okay, here's a song I like, here's a song I like, these three I don't care for, but this one I really enjoy, this one's great, and then these other two or three I don't care for, but again, that's just me, so I don't really know, and again, this is not a genre I really have you know, really dove that deep into, uh, just your main bands, really, uh, I'm, I'm slowly getting more into it, uh, underrated, Satan, I guess, just right off the top of my head, Satan and Angel, which really should have been really more recognized, and then Satan, for sure, I think they didn't, just, oh, sorry, just because of their name, so that's probably it, uh, number two, Autopsy or Exhumed, Autopsy, all the fucking way, uh, love Exhumed, but Autopsy, one of my all-time favorite bands, uh, Richie Blackmore, Tony Iommi, uh, Tony Iommi, I just prefer Black Sabbath over, uh, Deep Purple, and their other projects, oh, God, 15 minutes almost, shit, I want, if, okay, if I burn right through your question, don't take it as a, you know, a knock on you, I, I really apologize, I'm just trying my best to keep this under 30 minutes, um, so, you know, feel free to ask me stuff anytime you want, really, uh, oh, thanks, dude, um, Axel the Shark asked, uh, thoughts on drum and bass electronic music? I've, to be honest, I've really never really listened to it. Um, just not much on electronic music. Uh, like electronic sounds in, in music, but as a whole genre, uh, just, it's never been anything I've really wanted to go out of my way to listen to. Um, I'll check it out sometime, man. Uh, just leave me some, um, leave me some, uh, suggestions in the comments and I, I'll check some of it out, man. So, uh, thanks, dude. Uh, Julian Gonzalez, he's got a few. Let's see how many he has. Okay, uh, just three. Uh, and you guys were kicking my ass on these fucking questions, too, man. This was really, really, like, damn, I'm going to answer some of these. 
Uh, yes, favorite DSBM band. Um, again, not a genre I've totally dove into. Uh, I really enjoy what I've heard. Um, but I just don't own a lot of it. Uh, okay, it, it's a genre that I've listened to a, a bit, a good bit, but it's not something I've really went out and got a lot of and really checked it out in depth, if that makes any sense. Um, probably uh, Zaster. Um, it's out of everything I have, it's it's absolutely my favorite when it comes to that genre. Uh, and I know that's a really cliched answer, but that's just how it is. Uh, number two, have you ever scared someone with metal to the point that they thought you were actually crazy? Uh, if I have, I'm not really aware of it, to be quite honest with you. Um, and then he asked, uh, favorite patch you own? Uh, and I got both of my best here, too. Um, probably these three on this vest. The back patch is Autopsy, Dark Throne, Possessed. Uh, some of my favorite ever bands. And uh, I just love the way they look. And I got some on the other one too. I don't really have a favorite. I like all of them. Um, and this one as well. This Autopsy from Severed Survival. Love that one. Uh, every patch I have I love. Uh, thanks dude. Moving along. How many more do we have to get to? Jesus. Several. <laughs> um... Where are we at? Uh, Edgar Sanchez, what's up? This motherfucker's been following me for a long time, watching my videos and stuff, so dude, I really, really appreciate you. Uh, he says, uh, shooting the shit while taking a shit. Haha, uh -huh. yeah, I was taking a shit in that video, I really was. Uh, has there ever been an album where the, uh, lyrical content disturbed you greatly, or were you simply amazed by the themes? Uh, yeah, when I first started really getting into more, like, uh, extreme metal, I guess, uh, Slayer would have been my starting point. And just looking at their album covers and the lyrics that they had, um, they were, uh, you know, it scared me at first. Uh, so I was probably, I don't know, 15, 16, somewhere in there when I first started listening to it. And at the time I was like, wow, this is just a bit too evil for me. But, you know, uh, eventually I became a really big fan. And, yeah, so I would say Slayer had been the first one. Uh, Deicide was one, too. Uh, I could say several on there, but... Those are the first ones that come to mind. Uh, what's your favorite old school death metal record? <laughs> God damn. Um, I do not know. I really don't know. Um, I got such a hard question. There's so many of them, you know what I mean? Um, And what really qualifies as old school death metal? Anything before 1993? Um, I guess I will just say... Uh, I say Once Upon the Cross all the time, but I'm going to go with Deicide, self-titled. Um, I listen to that one more than probably anything else. So A lot of people want to say Cannibal Corpse, and I love Cannibal Corpse, but honestly, for the most part, I listen to Deicide a little bit more, So, and I like their album. Well, I don't want to say I like their albums. Forget I said that. Um, I'm exhausted. Uh, I love Cannibal. Um, definitely better than Deicide, but uh, Deicide self-titled. I'll just shut my mouth now. Thanks, dude. I uh, really appreciate you always hanging around, too, by the way. Uh, next up, that guy. Uh, what inspired you to bring out your inner sexy boy? Well, um, when I was a kid, my mom always said that I was the most handsome boy she's ever seen in her life, <clears throat> and I guess that gave me the confidence to really flaunt it and be cocky and arrogant about it. That's the best way I can explain it, I guess. <laughs> also, what's the weirdest artist band you've ever heard? Uh, good example, let me find it. Um... Worm's Blood. Canyon sent this to me uh, probably almost two years ago now, something like that. Uh, he said it was a bit too odd for him, and he thought maybe I would like it. And it's it's really, really weird, but I really do enjoy it. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I can't possibly describe it to you. You're just going to have to go look it up for yourself, because this is some odd shit. Um, yeah, that's probably the weirdest thing I can think of right off the top of my head. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, uh, thanks, dude. Uh, Tainted Lord 87, another dude's been around here for a long time. Really appreciate you. Um, 
Have you ever had an album that you once had but regret giving it away? Uh, anything that I have given away, I didn't feel bad about it. Um, I've had a few that I broke, being an idiot, like when I was 15 or so. It was, you know, an album that I'd had a while, and I was like, oh, this is just not metal, and, you know, I tried to break it, and then I did, and then I regretted it. Uh, but it's okay, because I still have it again. Uh, best song to listen to if you go hunting. I don't go hunting, but, um, if I did, I'd get, it'd be anything about killing, I guess. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I don't know. Uh, when you take a shit, does it, <laughs> when you take a shit, does it feel like someone is stabbing you in the ass? No? Um, I guess it feels like someone's pulling a knife out of my ass sometimes. Though there has been times where I've gotten like shooting pains in my butt and it's like, it feels like needles. I don't know what that was all about. And it's only happened a few times. But it would happen off and on for like five minutes and then it wouldn't happen again for a year. I don't know what that was about. I'm sorry to involve all of you in my medical problems. Uh, thanks dude. Uh, next dude, I have no idea how to pronounce your last name. I will try my best. Uh, Louis Rachmanstein, I guess. Sorry, another guy has been around here a long time. What's your favorite Midnight song? Vomit Queens. Uh, by far my favorite. Uh, one of the first ones I ever heard, and it's still, um, that riff after the chorus, it just gets me every time. I love it. Uh, thanks, buddy. Uh, Give Me the Atmosphere asked, uh, what's the rarest item in your collection? I don't know. I've got a lot of things that are, are in limited quantity. Uh, but it, when it comes to rare, I also consider how um, uh, how um, what's the fucking word? Um, how sought after it is. Um, I don't know if that's what you're talking about specifically, but in terms of rare, man, I have all kinds of things that are like limited to 100 or 50 copies or whatever uh there's a tape i'm getting ready to show in the next video or maybe the video after that it's limited to like 50 maybe so i i would say that one uh how was my shit uh when i took the shit in that video uh yeah it was it was okay i guess uh did you fall in again uh i don't think so i did get splashed in the butt with the poop so that was kind of weird felt like i fell in for a second Thanks, man. Uh, Metal Kid, what's up, Troy? Uh, favorite U.S. black metal band? Oh, what's up with the favorites? I don't know. Um, uh, fuck. Like, you put me on the spot and I can't think of it. And even if I could think of them all off the top of my head, I would forget the one that would be my favorite. Um, God damn. Uh, let's just go with Pro Fanatica for now. I, I really don't know. Uh, most hated band, uh, all the bands that I hate. I don't really have a favorite, uh, a favorite band to hate. Um, uh, if I hate a band, I just forget all about them and don't even think about it. So, uh, how did you get so sexy? Like I said, my mom told me I was handsome, and it just made me flaunt my sex appeal. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, Caleb Harp, uh, favorite Halloween season activities? Oh, man. Uh, I love to... I don't really do it all that much, but I, I would really like to start watching more 80s slasher movies, especially the really dumb ones. Uh, those are always fun. Um, I always have to read Sleepy Hollow, uh, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Uh, that's perfect. Um, uh, anything involving, like, decaying leaves and all that kind of thing I love that uh, I just love the whole season everything about it carving pumpkins I will do that any day of the week I love it um, things like that man uh, pretty typical things for the most part uh, favorite serial killer Ed Gein or what's the name H.H. H. Holmes had the, like the fucking mansion in Chicago where he's fucking people up although Jack the Ripper was pretty cool too but he only killed like six six or seven confirmed kills so i don't really count that um uh, what do you hate most about the metal community um i don't know if you're talking about in terms of like shows and bands or youtube um mostly just like um i hate people that take it so seriously that it's just like i mean it's fucking music 
and don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this style of music. I love everything about it. I love reading about it. I love listening to it. I love discovering new bands, all that kind of thing. Uh, but people who are so cult sensitive, it's just like, dude, just shut the fuck up. Like, I, you know, that just bothers me. But outside of that, I mean, I really can't think of anything. Um, it's just people being so full of themselves and taking this shit so seriously like it's life and death. That just drives me fucking fucking nuts. Uh, but that's really about it. I mean, if you really pressed me, I could probably think of more things. But again, I didn't prepare for this at all, and it's fucking late, so... That's the best I can tell you. Uh, thanks, buddy. Uh, Life Eternal is back again. Uh, good buddy, Anthony. Which, by the way, if you live in the Chicago area, I think in December his band Apotheosis is opening for Ghoul. So if you're in Chicago, go check that out. He will be there. Uh, he didn't even tell me to tell you that anyway. I just want you to go check it out because I can't go. Uh, and he asked uh, a few here. He says, uh, where did you get all your sex pill from? You guys are really on the sex topic today. I don't understand why. I'm not that I'm not that sexy. I don't think I am. But I appreciate it, though. Uh, he says, uh, what y'all... Oh, shit. Um, what is your favorite album of the year so far? Um, the Havukrunu, if that's even how you pronounce it. I gotta leave a link in the description. You can go check that out. Um... God, this is the hardest one. If you made a day festival, six bands that are together or disbanded or don't play live, and they'll be the ones playing, what bands would play? Dark Throne, number one. Um, I'm kind of gonna, just going to cheat on this one. Maybe I'll just say like some bands that I've never seen that don't really tour around here. And when even if they do tour, it's not that often. How about we go with that? Okay, so Dark Throne. Um, I would love to see Acid Witch. <sighs> oh, Blasphemy would be cool. Um, Nun Slaughter, listening to them, because I would kill to see Nun Slaughter. I know they tour, they don't tour that much, but they definitely don't tour around here. And uh, it would have been cool to see Jim Sadis. Death and Atheist. Those are just off the top of my head, so it's not like I sat down and really thought about it. And uh, someone let me know, because Atheist is supposed to be putting out a new album this year, and I've not heard anything else about it. And to be honest, this just thinking about it just brought that up, so maybe they have put it out or it's getting ready to come out. I've just heard nothing about it since the beginning of the year. So if anyone knows, let me know, because I want to check that out. Uh, thanks, Anthony. Life Eternal. Uh, subscribe to him. He's a good dude. Uh, if, I, if I screw this up, dude, I apologize. I really do. Uh, James McEwen, if I fuck that up, I apologize. Uh, he asked, uh, he's an awesome dude, dude, one of my favorites. Uh, subscribe to him. He's only got like 50 some subs. That's BS, dude. This motherfucker has all kinds of awesome shit. He's a fucking amazing dude. So, every one of you, I'm gonna leave a link for him, but you go subscribe to him. Uh, he asked, uh, was the dump you took all natural or were there laxatives involved? All natural, man. I'm not, I'm not constipated in the least and I never have been and hopefully I never will be. It was all smooth, uh, a little wet there at the end, but, you know, nothing a good roll of toilet paper couldn't take care of. And it was a solid roll, too, probably. Uh, last question, and we are under 30 minutes. Sweet. Uh, it's not even a question. Depths of No Return just says, I'm watching this vid while I'm taking a shit. That's really cool, because I was recording it while I was taking a shit, so... Uh, that's it, man. Uh, I really appreciate each and every one of you asking the question. Uh, again, I really love feedback from all of you guys, um... It just really helps me to keep this shit going. Makes me not feel so stale. Uh, maybe we'll do this like once a year or something. Because um, you guys really ask some fucking hard questions. And it's hard to knock all these out. But uh, again, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys fucking rule. Um, yeah, uh, if you're still here, um, just follow me on Facebook. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'll be there over there as well. Uh, really like to talk to you guys over there. Uh, when we're not doing YouTube... Um, just go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and all that kind of thing. Uh, go subscribe to all these people. Check these links. Uh, that's really all I got, man. I'll see you in the next one. Keep supporting Extreme Fucking Metal. Oops. Sucks when you can't hit the stop button.